In today's class, we'll be talking about how to make a kimono dress. And I'll be using my measurement to make this pattern. We'll be needing the following measurement to make our kimono short dress. We need our bust, circumference, waist, hip, full length and sleeve length. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing because I'll be sending you videos every week based on sewing, fashion hacks and different fashion styles. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I've folded my paper into two, then I've marked out my full length for it, which is 36. I want the gown to be very short, so I'll mark up my full length to seven, sorry. Then I'll be taking uh, taking my I'll be taking my vertical measurements on the horizontal line, yeah. So I'll be coming down. Okay, for this place, for my shoulder, I'll be taking 9 inches down to my chest point. Then from my chest point, I'll be coming down to my waist. And I'll be taking 16 and a half for my waist. And to my hip, I'll be taking 24 for my hip. Then the full length, that's, that's 7. Then on here, this point, I'll be taking out my nipple point which is 10 and a half so I'll be drawing my horizontal measurements Horizo okay I've drawn out my horizontal line and I'm taking this my chest line nipple point waist line and my hip line so I'll be marking out my horizontal measurements so on my on my chest line I'll be taking down my my bust circumference so my bust circumference is 36 36 divided by 4 will be giving you I have to use my tape and measure it and divide it let me show you the easiest way to do is if you can't really calculate that fast so you can also use your tape and divide it divided by 4 it's giving me 9 inches giving me 9 inches so I'll be taking down 9 inches but due to this kimono dress is not a fitted dress it's not fitted so I'll be taking I'll be taking 10 and half inch because it's not fitted so I'll be taking 10 and half inch plus 1 inch for seam allowance Then I'll also do the same here for my nipple point, ten and a half inch plus one inch for seam allowance. Then on my waistline, my waist is twenty-seven, so I'll be taking twenty-seven by four to be giving you like six and a half quarter. But I wouldn't want my waist side to be dash shapey. I want it a little bit free, so I'll be taking nine inches under my waist area. Plus one inch seam allowance. So on my hip side, my hip is 38. This 8 divided by 4 will be giving me this 8 divided by 4 will be giving me like 19 and 9 and a half. So I'll be taking instead of the 9 and a half I meant to take in, I'll be taking 11 inches because I want it to be very free. I'll take 11 and a half so that it will be free for me. Plus one inch seam allowance. So I'll do the same for the down. The down I'll be taking in 11 inches and one inch seam allowance. Then I'll join the whole curve and show you how it looks like. So after drawing the line, join the lines together, I'll be curving here a little. So that it won't give me this sharp curve here, I'll be curving it in a little. Assuming I have my sewing instrument, I would have used it to curve it. But I'm using my freehand sketch. So now we'll come over to the shoulder part. So this is the kimono dress. The, some people call it cut together sleeve gown. But the, the 
professional name for it is kimono dress so i'll be taking the standard measurement that's three by three by eight standard measurement for the shoulder for someone of my size size eight size 10 size 12 three by eight measurement then on this ace i'll be coming down by one inch so i'll be joining it from here down to my one inch so i'll be drawing like this so to measure your um your sleeve that the kimono dress to measure how long it you want it to be i'll be showing you and i'll make a different video for that how to measure this other part so i'll be taking for me i would want my own um, for my measurement i took it to be 13 and a half inch i took it to be 13 inch so i'll be measuring it on this other slanted area as you can see 13 inch here so this is it now so for taking the measurement here i have to join it to this other place for me this point okay here i will be coming in here by one inch I'll be coming here by one inch so my one inch is already touching this point so i will slant it like this it gives a lovely fitting slanting like this some persons go by joining here directly to this place so for me this gives me a very lovely fitting so as you may I have my sewing instrument or my master curve I would have used it to curve this place but since I don't have it I'll just do my curve like this do my curve like this then I'll shape it out then for my neck I would want my neck the neck side to be a bit broad and I want it to come down a little since I'm making a V neck that will come down here. So I'll be taking here, I'll be taking in four and a half inch to stop here. Then I'll be dropping, I'll be dropping eight inches because I want it to be very open. For me, I want it to be very open. Then I'll do my V neck like this. I'll try to this point because I'll be opening this area because of the particular style that I'm showing you. So for that particular style, I'll be opening here so that I can join this place to give it a very nice V shape. But some persons will decide to leave here closed and still join it to this point and then turn the neck. But for a better look and for a nicer look, I would like here to be open. So I'll mark out half inch. Or three quarter inch then do my joining like this and I'll cut it out and show you so this is the cut out pattern as you can see this is it so I'll be tracing it out on my fabric for my lovely dress okay I've got my fabric here I'm using a poly fabric that is a bit stretchy so I'll be tracing my pattern on my fabric I'll show you so now I've cut out my pattern on my fabric so I cut out both the front and the back the same thing front and back the same thing no difference so for, for me to style this dress I can decide to put an Ankara um, outside pocket here and here or here anybody any place or decide to put an inner pocket so for me, I'll be dividing here because I want a line at the middle. That's for me. But you can decide to leave your own like this. Then you sew it up like this. Join the shoulders together. Very easy to sew. Turn the shoulder together. Turn the sleeve. Join here by one inch or half inch. So that's just it. So if you have any questions, just ask me. This is it for the kimono dress. Hope you love it. Thank you. Walking alone